Hi, welcome to my video tutorial. Today I'm in Microsoft Office and I'm using Word 2013 and I'm going to show you the citations and bibliography option so you can cite your work and create your references. First thing we need to do is go to the references tab at the top and click that on the ribbon and we're going to use this section here which says citations and bibliography. We're not going to worry about insert footnotes at the moment, just concentrate on that section. So first we need something to cite, so we need a direct quote in this instance. And it's a quote from a book. So what I need to do now is cite that work. So I'll click insert citation, add new source. Now I'm ready to cite my work. You can go to the styles option and just check which style you use. If the style isn't there, then you can go to a website called Bibworld where you can download your required style as an XSL file and install it into Word 2013. So I'm going to leave it on Harvard and I'm now ready to cite my work. So I'll click insert citation. I'm going to add new source. If I wanted to add the source later, then I could add a placeholder here and give it a name so I can add that later. But I'm actually going to cite my work. Type of source, well you've got selection here. Now make sure you choose the correct type of source because it gives you the direct fields you need to fill in. So obviously if I chose website, the fields would then change. But in this instance, it's from a book, so I'm going to left click on book and I'm ready to start filling the information. See at the bottom here, when I click into a field here, it tells me at the bottom what order I need to put that name in. So you can see it's surname first, first name then initial. Then it's, as you can see, separated by semicolon. But if you click the edit button to the right, this will make you put the name in the correct order, which is really handy, especially if you're tired. So there's the author. I'll click add. If I click OK, if you've got the second author, you can add it in there again. Click OK. Next, you need a title of the book. And then we need the year. As you notice, as I click into these fields at the bottom, it tells you what format you need to put that in. City. Publisher. Editor. And again, because we come to a name again, follow at the bottom what format and order you need to put that in but if you click the edit button again it makes you put it in the correct order and it's done click add last of all is addition as you see at the bottom it tells you what format to put that in again this has been the third edition now if Depending on what citation you use, you might have an extra field you need to fill in. If you click the show all bibliography fields here, it will give you additional fields. So if you feel you need to fill in another field, depending on what you're doing, you can fill it in there. But as you can see, with all these red stars it indicates recommended fields and we filled them in. So if I untick that, and that should be for the Harvard referencing system. If I click OK, my work's now cited. As it's a direct quote, you need to put the page number in the actual citation. So left click citation, click the drop down arrow, click edit citation, and we can pop the number in there. And there's the page number. You can also suppress all from the citation year and title if need be. And there we go. Got a perfect citation. So you carry on doing all your work and at the end you need your reference list. So what you do is you click bibliography and then choose references. Click off that and there's your Harvard referencing system. Bear in mind there are variations of the Harvard referencing system so you have to choose the correct one. The references also create in alphabetical order so you don't have to copy and paste into order which will save you a lot of time. If I actually go to manage sources at the top here, every source you use will be listed here. Again which is really handy because you can use them in the future. So bear that in mind as well. You can also search for your sources there and when you find the one you want you can copy it over by clicking copy and now it's in your current list so if I click close access that in the current list let me show you how go to insert citation and there it is it's now in the current list 
so I can cite with that as well. Really simple, really easy to do. Plus, you don't need to be online because a lot of online requires you to be online to get your citations. Just search for your sources, but at least you can cite your work with it. Now, let's have a quick look at inserting footnotes. With inserting footnotes, we could also use the citations and bibliography sources we have stored in there. Show you what I mean. So I'm going to add a footnote by clicking insert footnote and we now have our footnote number one there on the bottom of the page we're ready to put our actual reference in. So with that click down there with the references you might have already used if I click manage sources and you've added them we could use a reference from here. So let me use that reference and I'm going to copy that over to the current list so we can use that. So I'll press copy. I'll now close that so if I scroll back down, the cursor's on one. I can now go up to bibliography, insert bibliography. And if I scroll down, there it is. Now if we get rid of the one, you can actually put it in wherever you want. And you can add your footnotes that way. Just an idea you could use, so you could incorporate the insert footnotes with your citations and bibliography. So you could store all your sources in the Manage Sources options and still use them in footnotes. Thanks for watching. Learning made easy.